welcome to today's 10 minute meditation. We are on the first lesson of book two. Book two is opportunity. Opportunity to ex is the manifestation of your spiritual ideal. Okay, so we spoke a little bit about ideals in other meditations. Ideals is that which you strive toward and you do your best to emulate. And so what your spiritual ideal is, you are manifesting now, is your opportunity. So sending a prayer to somebody, a kind word, these are opportunities to manifest the spiritual part of you. It doesn't cost a dime. It's all within you expressing out. Today's affirmation is a little long. I'm going to read it ahead of time. In seeking to manifest thy name, thy glory, through that, Thou dost make manifest in me, O Lord. Be thou the guide, and day by day, as the opportunity is given, let my hands, my mind, my body do that thou would hast me do as thine own in the earth. For as I manifest, may thy glory become known to those through the love, the promise thou hast made in thy Son." It's very powerful, so hopefully when we do it in the meditation, you can follow the words and grasp what is going on. As always, we begin with the Lord's Prayer and the Prayer of Protection. We go into a guided meditation. I will read the affirmation and we'll be in a period of silence. At the end of the silence, you will hear the chimes so you know I'm going to speak and not jolt you out. We're going to then roll the energy toward us from the bottom of our feet up to the top of our heads and then behind us from our heels up our back in our mind's eye roll it all the way up our back and over to our head to our third eye we will then officially close with the 23rd psalm okay let's get started take a deep breath relax and let go close your eyes and start to just relax be at peace. Take another deep breath. And while exhaling, scan your body from the top of your head down to your feet. Just scan through your body. Notice if there's any tightness, any discomfort. And if there is, bring your attention to that spot and invite it to let go and relax. Notice how your body follows your mind. Mind is the builder. Let us bring our attention now to our heart. And in this place we begin. As I approach the throne of grace, beauty, and might, I throw about myself the protections found in the thought of the Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. From our heart chakra, let us feel our heart getting softer warmer. If you don't feel it, imagine it. Know it is happening. Feel your heart release any upset, any emotional scars. Allow it to release into the God's hands and become softer and gent more gentle. From this soft, warm heart, which is connected to the divine, we will read the affirmation and sit in the opportunity of being fully a spiritual manifestation of the Lord. In seeking to manifest thy name, thy glory, through that thou dost make manifest in me, O oh Lord, be thou the guide, and day by day, as the opportunity is given, let my hands, 
my mind, my body, do that thou would hast me do as thy own in the earth. For as I manifest, may thy glory become known to those through the love, the promise thou hast made in thy Son. From this place, take a moment and appreciate and send up a thank you for the opportunity to be connected to the divine and really understand the opportunity to spiritually manifest today and every day. In your mind's eye, lean down to your toes and roll the energy up the front of your body to the top of your head. And now in your mind's eye, lean down and roll the energy up the back of you from your heels all the way up and over your head to your third eye. And as we close, we close with the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. 
my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thanks for joining me this morning. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.